Good afternoon, one and all. My name is Hadija Hassan. I'm a master student of Karnataka College of Pharmacy under the Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science. Today, it's my immense pleasure to be present in this platform, sharing with my small knowledge, okay, in the topic of cancer. Why did I choose to talk about cancer? During this pandemic of coronavirus, I have realized that the world is paralyzed because of the um, rate of death in the world. But people forgot that there are some other chronic diseases that is killing people every day, every year, okay, which are more dangerous than coronavirus. Cancer, it is a second leading cause of death in the world with 9.7 million of death in a year. So I'm going to talk about cancer, type of cancer, causes of cancer, how to prevent cancer and signs and symptoms. What is cancer? <clears throat> cancer, it is a chronic disease characterized by the development of abnormal cell, okay, which is develop uh, uncontrollably in the body. Cancer cell has the ability to initiate and to destroy the normal body tissue and can spread throughout your body. So what are the types of cancer? There are various types of cancer such as breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, skin cancer, ovarian cancer, stomach cancer, colon cancer, liver cancer, lymphoma, and leukemia, and so on. So what are the signs and symptoms of cancer in general? There are various signs and symptoms of cancer, such as fatigue, weight changes, it can be gain or loss, it can be skin changes, it can be yellowish, reddish or darkness we can have unexplained pain okay muscle pain or joint pain you can have unexplained fever or night sweat you can have heavy bleedings you can have difficulty in swallowing or uh, you know you can have this uh, discomfort after you eat so it can be different, different uh, signs and symptoms can be there because it depends on each and every type of cancer. But these are some of the signs and symptoms. So what is causing cancer? Cancer it can be caused by various you know, factors, such as first of all, it can be genetic, hereditary. It can be smoking. It can be alcohol use, you know, it can be overweight or obesity, it can be diet or malnutrition, it can be caused by environmental factor or radiation exposure. But most importantly, it can be also with a chronic infectious disease such as H. pylori or hepatitis B and C and other infectious disease. So, how to prevent this cancer? Cancer can be prevented. More than 30% of cancer types are caused by, you know, leading behaviors and environmental factors that can be changed, that can be modified. Smoking can be, you know, Stopping of using a uh, cigarette, more tobacco can be stopped. Which is in the world, tobacco be, is the most largest dangerous causing factor of cancer with 1.7 million of death in a year. So it's a keep on increasing. And you, the use of alcohol, it can be also prevented or Either you stop your drinking or you use it when it is necessary. You have to monitor your diet, consume more fruits 
and vegetables. You have also to take control of your body weight and also do some exercise. Exercise is very important. And also prevent yourself of exposing with people or with infectious agents associated with cancer. So, before I end my speech or my topic here, I would love to share a small story that happened to me. One years ago, I had a friend. He was a student here in India and he lost his life. He's from Derse, Congo. In March 2017, uh, March 2019, he lost his mother but we were too much close. We known each other for four years. We used to be in touch a lot. He used to come and visit. I never see that man having any complaint about his health issue or any problem regarding his changes on, on his body. So one day he messaged me, he told me he's in hospital. After I think one month or two months losing his mother, Unfortunately, I did not get the chance to go and visit him. But after two weeks for him being hospitalized, he passed away. Till today, we, maybe the family knows, but we as a friend, we don't know the leading cause of his death. Because when he was admitted, the doctor said they sent his blood sample in Delhi to be tested. The day the test has arrived, he was already gone. So, I will conclude my topic by saying, although cancer is killing a lot, has a big rate of death in the world, but surviving rates is improving, has improved a lot. Thank God to our medical researcher and the technology. So my humble request to everybody here, brother and sister, elder and younger, whoever has any persistent sign and symptoms or who has any history, family history, or anybody who knows that he's exposing himself in an environment which is not good by seeing this video, he realized that there is something may be wrong. Please do visit the doctor. Because if they went and find you that you have any early stages of any type of cancer or any type of chronic disease, early detectable, it is easy to treat. Diagnosis is easier, treatment is easier, there are screening tests that can be run, which can be also cheaper in the early stage. And myself, I always say, prevention is better than cure. Thank you.